See the game more clearly with high-definition spectacle lenses from Norville Opticians. Billy, congratulations, five points. Couldn't have gone much better in many respects. Yeah, no, it's was, it was difficult conditions out there. As soon as uh, we got out there and started warming up, we knew it was going to be tricky. Um, you know, Zebra got a very good pack. You know, they're a very well-drilled team and defensively they, you know, they caused us problems last week. Um, so we knew what we needed to do on the back of last week, but, you know, five points away from home, you can't really argue with that. And the opening quarter was testing. Yeah, it was. I think, you know, professional teams nowadays, it, you know, it takes 50, 60 minutes to break a team down. And, um, you know, professional sides, they know what they're about and they've got quality players out there. So I think the forwards, you know, it was pretty tough out there. The conditions, the scrum was obviously very equal and you can see it out there, a lot, a lot of stability out there and a bit of frustration not getting the ball out. But, you know, that's the game. So, um, you know, I thought our line out was good. We put some great pressure on them and um, hooking the halfbacks in there, they control things really well. Symptomatic of the modern game, the scrimmage that seems to take an age. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the game, but we, we know you've got to stay, stay on the right side of the ref and be positive and make sure we get the right outcomes from it and um, we can play on the back of that. Obviously, you had 14 men, they were down to 14 men in the second half, that gave you the seeds advantage, but you scored some cracking tries. Yeah, we did. I think we, we had to play what was in front of us, um, understand what, what, what they were doing and what we could do to, to nullify that. And uh, I thought, you know, the boys took their chances really well and um, we spoke at half time about being clinical and really putting it to bed in the first 10, 20 minutes in the second half, and I think we did that. Training ground move for Henry Bird is Uh No, not at all. <laughs> off a, a counter attack, or a kick chase, and not, don't normally find myself back there, but always quite nice. And then uh, luckily I had Henry, he's got some gas outside me, so I just wanted to give the ball as quickly as possible. Very much enjoyed by the huge number of supporters here. It's fantastic following. Oh, it's absolutely amazing. And um, yeah. to have them out here, it's, um, it's awesome for the team. It's such a huge lift. And um, to, to have them singing Happy Birthday to Hibs at kickoff was uh, very unusual, but the boys love it. And honestly, it does. It makes a huge difference when we're coming out in the first half. And the second half and you know the Gloucester crowds you know, louder than the home crowd it, it, it gives the lift and it, it makes a difference and it's proven today with five points. Brilliant new place in the pool now back to Premiership back to next weekend good rehearsal you have to be even more precise against Bath. Yeah they're a quality team and um, they showed that in the last couple of years they've all been together as a group and um, you know, they've got quality players through the team they've got a great pack and um, Gloucester Bath it's a, it's a derby that everyone wants to watch and everyone wants to be involved in and um, to beat Bath at home is, is the ultimate game to be in as a Gloucester player so um, you know, we'll be, have a good week preparing for them.